Now, before we get into this video, I want you guys to know that I am going to be live streaming on Twitch later tonight. It's going to be around 6 p.m. EMST, which is 8 Eastern Time, 5 Pacific Time, and 7 Central Time. Um, so the link is going to be in the description. Be sure you guys are following me with the notifications turned on. We're going to be doing some red zone stuff. I'm going to mention it again at the end of this video. But just wanted to give you guys a heads up because I know not everybody watches through to the end. Yeah, you really should because there's a lot of good information that you missed. So anyways, we will see you guys on the live stream later tonight on a red zone stream with some new technology we'll be using. What is up YouTube? Today with the most recent patch that EA has unofficially released, we have no idea what they did, but we do know that they got rid of disengage blitzes. Now you guys may be thinking, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. EA released a patch? Apparently. <laughs> if you guys have ever heard of a thing called ghost patch and you don't believe me, well, this video is about to change your mind on that and change your mind hopefully on how terrible EA is. So disengage blitzes are such a three-man blitz where you could get people disengaging from the blocks or just getting off the blocks for no reason. They're not getting blocked is what they're happening. Okay, so we'll go cover three. This is three, four bear. This is one that worked really well. And this is against a non-max pro gun bunch. It's just a simple spacing switch. Disregard people getting open. Okay, the way to set this up, really easy. is just to pinch everybody, slant D-line inside, be on a spy. And I like to go ahead and drop A into a curl flat. Contain, blitz or user, and then just kind of swerve, right? That's how you would go about normally doing this. So right there, bang, you can see swerve. And we get no pressure whatsoever. Now, to make sure that this is not fluke and to do it for science... We're going to do it a couple more times again. We'll set the splits up, okay? I mean, this shows that EA is ghost patching things and patching things without us even ever knowing, all right? Again, this is a contained blitz, or at least what was a contained blitz. Clearly not working. And I'm running it the same exact way that it used to work. Ghost patching. It. I don't know why they can't say anything why they blatantly are just lying to our faces because clearly this doesn't work anymore all right now let's go ahead and show off the four six bear under one i think it's four six bear under i never used the one because i think it was pretty garbage four six bear under everybody comes down to the speed package four six normal i mean this this one may work i doubt it i doubt all disengaged blisters have now been passed through four cub no longer works but what you do is come out four six normal audible to four six bear under cover two man you'd pinch press everybody Blitz down, contain, right? Do And then you could essentially, with the guy on the D-line, you could do whatever you want with it. It doesn't matter. And then you'd blitz your user and do something like that. Let's go ahead and try this one out. Again, this is a non-max pro gun bunch. Look at that. We're just getting sheds. This is not a disengage blitz. In fact, the defensive tackle is facing backwards and not able to go after the quarterback. If that, to me, doesn't automatically make me think holding on the offensive line as I smack my mic, I don't know what does. So again, we'll just, just, just in case, maybe we got a little fluke right there. We'll set it up once more. This is how it's ran, okay? And you can blitz your user. Look at that. That was just a shed. That was not a disengage. So with that being said, it seems like disengages are no longer a thing, meaning blitzing is basically dead, meaning that abilities are going to be the most important thing that we're ever going to come across. Meaning that defense just became harder. Yes, for stopping the pass as if it wasn't difficult enough. It just became more difficult because blitzing's too slow. Disengage blitzes are getting ghost patch, which I, uh, I'm i okay and not okay with it because there were ways to beat the disengage blitz. Just a lot of people are like, oh, it's cheesy, it's cheesy, it's cheesy when it wasn't. But as you guys see again, yet again, yet again, EA is going about patching things without even telling us or fixing things in the game without even telling us without even releasing an official patch. I don't know how they get away with this time and time again, but let's go back to three, four bear again. This is to show that three, the disengage blitz no longer works. This is including three, four cup. Okay. So again, the way out run is this cover three. We'll come back out in this gun bunch spacing switch. Heck, let's just go. Let's go to a different. Well, no, we'll keep it consistent. I was about to go to a different formation altogether. But again, we'll just go ahead and pinch everybody, slant down, contain, spy. Do that, right? And you can blitz one of these two guys. It doesn't matter who you blitzed. Again, we'll just whoop, 
swoop down. You can see right there, the disengage blitz says, we're just getting a shed. Disengage blitzes no longer work for good or for bad. We'll find out when clubs roll, but what that means for all you clubs players, all you competitive players out there, you can no longer rely on disengage blitzes, all right? So if you have an actual blitz cooked up, well, you're going to have to expose it now. I'm sorry, you're going to have to start using it. If I pray that I can get there quick enough on all Madden and full mutt, essentially, is what this game mode is now, even if it's salary cap. Um, you guys are going to have to use that. It is what it is, but as incompetent and as deceitful as EA has been known to be, especially for Madden and FIFA, pretty much every game they've ever made, they, or every sports game they've ever made, they managed to break the game even more and patch things without even telling us. I don't know how that works, but I kind of saw that happening. I, I, I predict I, a lot of things are going to be changing by the end of today. Trust me on this one, guys. So that's going to take care of this video. Disengage blitzes are now patched, which means pass defense just became more difficult because we can no longer send a blitz because blitzes are so slow. In fact, even sending seven, it takes like, right, let's just count down real fast, okay? I'm just going to blitz all. We're going to go ahead and snap the ball. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, about probably three or four seconds. I was probably counting a little slow. About four seconds for an engage eight to get through. I don't know. Maybe we're just getting unlucky right now, but they seriously need to do something about blitzing. Blitzing is such an important aspect about football that you can't just nerf it and destroy blitzing altogether because that destroys the aspect of football. Another problem is the offensive line being psychics. Essentially, and what I'm talking about right here, let's just come out and nickel blitz too, right? This used to be a really, really good blitz a few years ago. Uh, We'll come out... Let's just go gun bunch against basic switch. This is a way that you can maybe try setting it up right now and send it off both edges, right? Again, the offensive line, and if you're showing a blitz like this where this guy's standing in the gap, an offensive line shouldn't just automatically recognize where it's coming from. Now, this is blitzing six. Okay, I'm just going to block my running back. Let's just go ahead and slide our offensive line away and see what happens, right? I'm not even going to bluff blitz my user. We'll snap the ball. Look at that. We told him to slid away. And I don't know. Magically, we don't ID that guy. We don't say that's the mic. The running back just automatically goes over and picks him up. You guys at EA, I don't know. You, I know you don't listen to me. I know you hate me because <laughs> you hate all YouTubers that look down on your game. But you have to make blitzing matter. You have to make people actually think. I get that we're trying to catering to trying to cater to casuals and all, but if they don't want a part of the football in a football video game that's important to football and important to defensive football, then they shouldn't be playing a football video game. They should be playing outside and having the five Mississippi pass rush to the QB on the field instead if they don't want to deal with the sin six or having to figure out how to pick up blitzes. Because when we are taking away blitzes, we're making pass defense more difficult, meaning passing is becoming easier, meaning that I can just have 5,000 decades in the pocket and not have to worry about you sending a blitz. If I have two edge protectors and a post up, good luck. Three man pass rush, GG's. One final thing I want to check out, I want to see if they've destroyed this defense altogether, is Nickel 335. If they have, that means my disengaged defense no longer works. So, okay, we're set up. Go ahead and snap the ball. Okay, so, yeah, nope. I mean, it still gets some good pressure fairly quickly, but, yeah, it's it's definitely not as good as it was. So, we'll go ahead and just pinch the line, slant inside. That's how you set it up. Eh, mediocre. Doesn't really work. He gets you right there. We're going to go ahead and throw a pick anyways because we're, we're blind. We're blind. Blind man, blind man. Yeah, that's me. So, you guys can see all the disengaged blitzes that are popular don't work. I'm not even going to bother with 3-4 Cub. I already tried it before recording this video. Yep, that doesn't work. Even if you set it up properly with contain and the spot on the correct side, yep. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Just believe me on that one. 4-6 bear under you guys see doesn't work. 3-4 bear doesn't work. Essentially, all disengaged blitzes are now dead. They're dead. Completely. Until somebody finds another way to be able to do a disengage, 
we got nothing right now. So blitzing basically dead, guys. The only way you're gonna get any sort of pass rush is have edge threats and pray that they don't have edge protector and pray that they don't have post up so you can actually get some sort of pressure going. Or somehow get lucky and able to completely lock them down on defense. We're just gonna play the game. We will be live streaming tonight on Twitch. We're gonna be doing a little bit of red zone stuff because of the club online eliminations begin tonight. I will believe it's the AFC and NFC West. I'm not 100% sure on who kicks it off, but there will be online elims starting at six Mount Standard. That is eight Eastern, seven Central, and five Pacific. So that kind of depends on what time zone you guys are in. So we will be live on Twitch tonight. Just kind of give you guys a breakdown. I want to show you guys something we're going to be bringing to the table, though, just to make it a little more informative. Yes, we're going to try and make it fun, but we're going to make it a little more informative as well. This little tablet and this little pin hooks up to the desktop right there. And so we can now go ahead and start drawing on the screen. So like what you guys see in the NFL, where you see the red line or yellow lines and triangles and circles and arrows and all that stuff we're going to start doing that as well for clubs also so you guys can get a little more information on what they're doing why they're doing it etc so until next time guys disengage blitzes are officially dead r.i.p disengage blitzes let us passers now rejoice